filter. Anyway, well, morning world, and welcome to Tuesday, 13th of August. And lucky for some, and lucky for me, because I'm getting wet. But um, yeah, the cold water pressure wa washer, possibly not quite as quick as the steam, but um, yeah, it's doing the job, and it's doing it all right. Yeah, that's all. Right, so update on the wheat. I don't think Reg has started his yet. As I understand from my brother, the combine is still in the yard. So, and I do know that he was going to do his uh, 90, 100 acres over at, uh, well, over at his other farm before he started on ours. So I don't anticipate getting a phone call today. So the plan for me today, I've got a couple of little tree jobs to look at, fairly local, which I'm going to try and fit in. I have warned the clients already that if I'm coming today, I probably won't be very clean. I did promise to wash my face, if I remembered, but uh, I don't think they really care about that. I think as a care, can you come and do our trees and hedges? And if you can, fantastic. Right, let's take this chap off of here. There he goes. <laughs> You start to think about it a bit, eh? Cool, then. There's like a little gauze filter in this chap. Actually, he's not that bad. So it looks like the main issue was with the uh, main pickup filter. He's siphoning it in there, so let's have that back on. So this is, there's no pressure in this side. This is the feed in. Is that tight enough? He seemed like he was a bit over tight last time. Let's try that. No. 
they were a sucking diva. <clears throat> I stopped against the door, got through of that. This is what I did is I put that blue bucket that I bailed out the trough of yesterday inside the water tank, filled that up, put the hose pipe in it, and now I'm basically keeping out of that bucket. Right, well, that's made a hole in it. Um, so all the wall down this side done, including the timber there. So that was actually quite hard getting it off the blocks because of course they're a bit porous. But yeah, took the two little gates off and washed them outside because it was just easier to do them on the floor. But yeah, need a bit more off there with the looks of it. Right, I am going for a cup of coffee because I've earned it. And then I think we're gonna go to uh, Dursley and pick up a couple of bags of lime to fill the floor. Won't be doing the floor today, I'll let the floor dry first. Uh, at least, you know, I ain't got to be bone dry, but dry. And then I'm gonna line the floor once we've finished that wall there, that feed barrier, and those two, well, that shouldn't take too long. That should come off easier. We had a little experiment yesterday. I think that bit there took me three or four minutes. So the trick is to soak it down first, to get it all wet first, especially over there, because that's obviously where I push up to load out. Um, but yeah, hour, hour and a half. Should have this finished with the pressure washer. Then it's a case of just, let's say, let it dry and then come in with some lime, well, probably shovel, where I've gone along the edge there, and just washed off a bit more, just a shovel in a wheelbarrow, just take those last few bits out, and lime. Then I can go to the ministry and go, yes, I've been a very good boy, I've cleaned it all out. The little pressure washer is definitely not quiet, but it will go most of the day on that gallon of diesel. So, cheap. Light cheap. Right, welcome back to the afternoon. It is almost three o'clock actually. So I've got to go into Charfield to do a quick tree work quote. We're then off down to Tether Farm because I left my tractor out last night, or Dad's tractor out last night. I'm not overly happy about that, but it was suggested I didn't leave it in the barn with that smoke bomb. Apparently it can leave a residue over surfaces glass and that, not a good idea. So we're going to go and put the tractor back in the shed. Going down to the Land Rover because before I put the tractor in the shed, I'm going to put another bale in the back of here. And then we're off to Mole Valley to go and buy a couple of bags of hydroloim, which is what we're going to be spreading on the barn floor down there. So uh, probably only get a couple of bags. I think they're only about six, seven quid a bag. It's not that expensive. So we're going to do that. Then it's back here, back on the pressure washer. Someone's enjoying an afternoon out on a motorbike. Lucky devil. That used to be me. Maybe one day. Right, got to the farm. We just open the doors, open the gates, open those doors, bang a bale on, put the tractor away, and then, then we'll go off to Mole Valley. That's my head.
can see the showgrounds all cut and bailed up nice nice and neat. I'll show you. Well, they got a fair few bales out there. That'll definitely feed a few hungry mouths, won't it? So, yeah, a lot of bales. What are you? There's a bird of prey flying around here, which I thought at first glance was a buzzard. But it's not flying like a buzzard. What are you? Hmm. No, it is a buzzard. It is. There's three of them out here, so it's a youngster. So it's just different colours. Right, OK. That ash tree seems to be recovering quite well. Taking a new bushy growth on there. Right, let's go and pick this bait up. Take it home. I just, ooh, I touched it. I don't think I broke the plastic though. I think I'll have that one off the top there. I've just damaged the plastic a little bit. I don't think I've gone through, but, um, or shall I? Yeah. Any trap is going to see the bale long before I see them, so... you forward a bit. There you go. He's on there. It's only one at a time, but, you know, sooner or later I'll get rid of him.
didn't see Dad. Had a quick drink with him, make sure he's okay. We are now on our way to Barclay, northbound of the A38, to Mole Valley. So, yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Down here somewhere, hiding in a metal container. That was a bit of a run around to find that, but find it we did. So three bags alone, that should be plenty to do. Um, in fact, two ought to be enough. I bought three just in case. Um, it's only about six, seven quid a bag. It's not very expensive, but uh, we'll chuck that on the floor and then get our certificate and then I can sell some cattle. 